All right, all right, we're here with Kayla Edwards, winner of the 800 meters at the Lilac Grand Prix. I know this wasn't your opener, right? You opened up at UW last weekend. Tell us about one, how your opener went uh, last week, and then now, what, what did it feel like out there? Uh, well, you, you know how indoor goes. It's a lot of like warming up because you haven't raced for a while, and you can only do so much in practice to get you ready for like the real thing. So, uh, yeah, I'm really happy what I did at UW. I ran a 600 and a mile. Which is good for this 800 and then I'm racing again another 800 next week so this is really good practice for that because there's gonna be a lot of competition next week and at the New Balance Grand Prix. Nice so tonight was a 201 something? Yeah I don't know exactly the time but yeah. it's good it's like one of my fastest my fastest season opener in the 800. Nice and how did it feel you, you looked pretty comfortable um, pretty yeah, confident? Pretty good. I was like kind of anxious uh, with 400 or at 400 um, but I didn't close quite as hard, I guess. I don't know what this was as I thought, but I'll take the win and the uh, fast season opener. Nice. Tell, what's your training environment like? What's ever, how's everything going uh, with your, your uh, where are you now? I'm in Boulder. Boulder, nice. Yeah, so Chad Noel, my boyfriend's coaching me and I'm training with Skyland Webb, who runs for Sockney. And then we have another girl, Kristen Metcalf, who joined us, she's Canadian. So nice. we're building a good little 800 group. Um, yeah, Sky really kicked my butt this base season so that's why I was able to hold on hold uh, up in the front today and Chad's really like up the training. Sky and I suffered through base phase and finally made it through so here now and happy that things are really going well. So New Balance Indoor Grand Prix is up next and you said 800 there also? Yes. Yeah okay what are your goals for this indoor season? Uh, just try to get new PRs and wins I mean, what else can you ask for? <laughs> <laughs> so you're planning on running U.S. indoors? Yeah. Nice. And then looking to the outdoor season, all eyes on Budapest? Or? Yeah, for sure. I haven't made a team yet. Last time, the indoor champs in 2020, they canceled uh, Worlds. That would have been my last chance to go to Worlds before I got really sick. Um, and they canceled it again this year. So hopefully I can make an outdoor team. Before you got really sick, with, did you have COVID? Yes, or? so I got COVID and then that triggered severe Graves disease, but I didn't know I had that for like six months. Wow. Because we just thought it was long COVID and it took me out for a year and a half and just wrecked me. I like thought I would never come back again because I couldn't even run 10 minute pace, which is obviously like not what I run, not what anyone runs at this level. So. It was a really, really long comeback and rough comeback, so I'm just really glad to be here now. I mean, did you? were there moments in that kind of attempt to be building back something to fitness where you were just like, God, if I could just go out there and run a 201, it would be a dream come true, yeah. and then you just did it. Yeah, I mean, last season I was like barely in shape to run. I ran a lot of 204s, and then I just needed some more training, and I ended the season in two flat, but I still just felt so far behind because it was in a 158 race. Um, but it was hard like when you're in the moment of the like depths of whatever you're going through it's like sometimes so hard to be like there's this, there's light at the end of the tunnel um, but I just persevered and luckily Chad and Sky were like super supportive and encouraging that helped me so much and my family and friends they all believed in me so I know that sounds like so cheesy everyone says that but it's really true like everyone believed in me so it helped me believe in myself that's amazing. Man, congratulations. That's a Thank very, you. very big feat to come back from. I appreciate it. Thank Thanks you. for letting me tell my story. Yeah. Thanks for telling it. Yeah.